Hi, uh, welcome back to Fire Life. Uh, today I'm uh, demonstrating uh, you how to uh, uh, configure Palo Alto Global Protect, uh, which is the SSL VPN solution uh, within the Palo Alto, uh, Palo Alto firewall. So initially, what we have to do is uh, we have to configure uh, a certificate because actually, uh, when it comes to as uh, Global Protect, uh, it uses uh, SSL or actually TLS. Uh, TLS for the security purposes. So in order to uh, cater that, we have to configure a certificate. And uh, in order to do, we have to go to device tab. And here, actually, uh, uh, the thing is actually uh, we have two options. Uh, one option is we can just import uh, uh, certificate authority sign certificate. If if you do have that, you can import it here. Uh, let's say let's say. Uh, let me tell you this. Uh, let's say you are uh, uh, okay. Let's say uh, you are going to have the URL because when it comes to Global Protect, we have to uh, use a FTDN or the URL in order to log into the uh, the portal. And let's say uh, let's say we use uh, gp dot uh, gp dot uh, firewalllife.com so then if i using this name so then you have to obtain a sign certificate from certificate authority uh, but if you do not uh, have such a certificate uh, what you can do is you can create a ca certificate uh, within the palette firewall and then you can generate a csr and you can sign using that ca certificate actually uh, you know this ssl certificate uh, Deep uh, concepts. Uh, are, are planning to uh, do another uh, video for that or demonstration for that. But yeah, I'm just uh, you know rushing through uh, the certificate concept. So let me create a, a CA certificate. Uh, let's say it's a CA CA cert and common name. Actually, uh, since this is a CA certificate, we do not have to worry about it. So I'm putting this uh, CA cert the same name, the common name, and signed by. I'm not putting anything since this is a CA, so I'm putting uh, the check mark certificate authority. And here I'm uh, keeping the default algorithms. Uh, and uh, let me put the certificate attributes here. I'm putting the country, uh, I'm putting this uh, IN uh, India. And uh, uh, let me put uh, organization power life. Uh, I'm just putting those details for the moment and let me generate it. Okay, now we have our CS certificate. So now let me create a uh, generate a, uh, you know CSR and sign using the CS certificate because actually I'm doing this way uh, when it comes to. Uh, uh, latest global protect uh, agents actually the agent has an option to check whether certificate uh, is signed by a certified uh, very uh, i mean the trusted certificate authority uh, so in that case actually uh, but we can switch it off that feature but i think it's better to switch it on because in order to prevent man in the middle attack so here uh, in that case, I'm generating uh, the portal certificate here. Certificate name is uh, GP cert. This is a certificate which is uh, going to be used for the global protect. And common name should match with the URL or the FQDN. Actually, here I'm not using any, uh, but yeah, I can I can use uh, FQDN. So let's let's say let let's use this thing. Uh, let me copy this, and uh, then I have to map this to my um the uh, uh, oh, daddy login so go daddy login sign in oh okay uh this is not the account uh, My uh, 
domain account. Uh, yeah, this is my domain. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put a, a record for this uh, this GP. This is my FDN for um, just uh, so uh, let, let me show you that for the moment. Actually, I do not have uh, any post record for that. Uh, let me set the, the server. Okay, set type a uh, querying a record and I'm typing gp dot gp dot live dot com. Uh, see, we do not have anything. Uh, gp dot live dot com. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, manage uh, domain and I'm uh, manage DNS. Uh, I think. Uh, Actually, here uh, I think uh, my name servers are within uh, the, the within Cloudflare, I guess. Yeah, so I had to put it in the Cloudflare. So let me log into the Cloudflare. Cloudflare login. Uh, okay, this is Cloudflare login. Sorry, I think uh, no, I think this is not the email. Yes. Uh, Actually, I can't remember my email address for this. Check this one. Well, I have several emails. I created for testing purposes. No, that is not the one. Yes, uh, let me rewrite my password. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's the one. I think I mistyped my password. Ah, yeah, that's one. Okay, here. Uh, let me go to uh, DNS. And uh, okay, here we can put a record here. And uh, let me re, uh, re, re verify that uh, for the moment actually we do not have any record for gp.firelight.com. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put uh, this uh, uh, the FDN here and uh, the IPv4 address. Let me go uh, and get my firewall address interface uh, address interface IP address here. This is this should be my global protect IP. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to map this IP to this domain name. And okay, here I'm putting that uh, IP. And uh, here uh, I'm not doing any proxying thing. I just uh, need only the uh, DNS resolution. And I'm just putting uh, my TTL is uh, let's say 50 minutes. Uh, but uh, I can put uh, 12 hours no issues. And uh, let me save this. And once I'm done with the saving, so then let me resolve here. Uh, here now you see now here we have the resolution okay uh, now let me go to firewall and let me put that uh, FPDN because I'm going to use that FPDN for global protect uh, okay uh, I think it's better if I can put uh, simple gp dot firewall live sorry uh, gp dot firewall live dot com Okay, uh, the sign signed by the CA, uh, uh, the CA is uh, which I created previously, and here I'm putting the country India, uh, India, 
and uh, the the state uh, let's put uh, I think uh, no uh, then I put uh, my my uh, same um, uh, DNS because uh, otherwise you know uh, this is an important field because uh, you know uh, when it comes to Chrome browser Chrome browser require this uh, entry or DNS or the SAN uh, name uh, that is uh, gp dot uh, like uh, somewhat difficult for me to write my domain name since it has triple l okay now fine let me generate okay now we are done and then now you can see now this is a uh, this certificate the global protect uh, portal certificate is under the ca certificate so which means this uh, cgp certificate is signed by ca cert so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, you know it, uh, download the CA certificate and import it into my machines uh, you know trusted certificate authority store so then my global protect agent won't uh, prompt any security issue errors so now let me uh, create uh, let me go here network and uh, portals and within this uh, demo uh, actually I'm uh, creating only the portal so I'm creating another demo for the uh, gateway because actually otherwise this take uh, long time uh, i think people do not like to watch long tutorials and gp here i'm putting uh, this is my interface uh, which which contains that uh, public ip address but here we have this uh, private ip but the thing is actually within azure we we, we have a mapping uh, that public ip to this private ip so no issues so let me go to authentication and here tls profile and let me select and i'm putting just uh, gp and the certificate and uh, i had to select my portal certificate that the gp set and i'm using minimum version of tls version 1.0 and maximum is the maximum available that's fine and uh, client authentication let me add here yeah, this is the you know authentication database where i'm putting uh, gp and os any authentication profile let me create a new authentication profile actually we need uh, you know username and password in order to log into the portal and i'm putting this gp and here i'm um, type is this is i'm using for the moment local database where i'm creating uh, users within my uh, firewall and then advanced allow list allow list means uh, which users are allowed in order to log into the global type because when, when we have several users within our firewalls database so all the users uh, would be able to uh, log into the global protect actually if you want to restrict certain users from logging to the corporate portal we can put the allow list here i'm uh, putting just all here and I'm clicking OK. And uh, now let me go to agent section and let me add agent configuration. Here I'm just putting JP. You can put whatever your name. And uh, other uh, details here is not that much important for the moment. And here, and OS and uh, user group, uh, these things are also can be keep uh, default because here it's any user group and OS is any. And uh, these things are not that much important. I mean, those are important when the customization installation, but I'm giving you the uh, basic and you know the more generic uh, corporate protect portal configuration. Uh, here, th these are the gateways, and here I had to go to external because uh, this is external gateway. Uh, people from the internet who is using this gateway, and I'm adding it here. And I'm just putting GP and FQDN here. I'm using the uh, FQDN because I have that FQDN here. Uh, and I'm putting it uh, if it in. If you have IP, you can put an uh, option IP here. And source region, you can restrict this global tech access to certain countries. But here I'm putting, I'm um, using, uh, you know, any uh, or any or all. I think any. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, now okay. Now uh, totally fine. The configuration is done. And let me uh, commit. Uh, you know, uh, let me commit. Uh, let's wait for the commit operation uh, and uh, you know uh, but this uh, won't work because actually uh, I have to configure two things I'll let you know uh, once I once I try because uh, you know when it comes to troubleshooting or when, when you do configuration don't do everything I mean in order to confirm things I think you can do step by step so I'm doing the best configuration done yeah. I do not have the routing or anything 
uh, configured okay uh, now it's done almost completed okay so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to type this uh, let me get uh, a window gp dot uh, gp dot com https now it's not working because we have two things so first thing is we have to go to uh, the firewall uh, controls interface and we have to check whether we have any secret groups uh, because in Azure we have secret groups that are basic firewall kind of a thing but we do not have anything but the problem is actually let me go to the firewall and watch your route. Actually, we have to configure the default route because otherwise, firewall does not know how to send that traffic. When, when the JB uh, the request comes to the firewall, firewall, firewall does not know how to return that traffic back to the internet user. So here, I had to go down to the virtual router because within this virtual router, we have this Ethernet uh, one slash one interface. Uh, here, I'm putting a default route, default, and this session is Ethernet and interface. Uh, Okay, next stop, uh, let me check my default gate, maybe within Azure, I have to check it. I have to go to virtual network and firewall bin it, and, uh, and uh, I'm going to submit. And uh, see, this is untrust, uh, so this is the subnet, so that means the first IP address would be the default gate before I show in 10.11. Uh, okay, 10 I'm sorry, I think my mistake. I center okay now it's fine okay okay all in it okay now we have uh, our you know routing configured now our portal should work but uh, the thing is actually uh, we'll be we'll see a uh, uh, browser error saying that the certificate is not trusted but what we can do is we can now just download the CS certificate from the firewall where we created and we can import it into the browser so then firewall, uh, the browser would trust our uh, certificate uh, would, would uh, uh, trust the uh, certificate so uh, let me click close uh, so I think it is almost completed okay it's done so let me go back to my portal uh, page and let me reload it now see now we have the portal page but uh, as I, I as i told you now we have this uh, certificate error so what i can do is i can just go advance and i can just proceed with the certificate error but i'm not going to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to download this certificate uh, this certificate actually uh, i'm exporting it uh, i'm exporting the certificate and uh, okay now certificate is exported and i'm going to you know import it into the browser so let me go here and more tools and uh, no actually settings and let me search certificates uh these are the certificate security uh, certificates and at the beginning the uh, we should be able to see certificate manage device certificates okay uh Chrome, oh no, no, sorry, the, 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 the previous one uh, certificates. And uh, let me go to Trusted Tool Certificate Authority and import. And uh, let me click next and browse. And uh, let me go to my downloads folder. And uh, this is the certificate. Let me import it. Okay, finish. It has been imported successfully. Now, what uh, we are going to see is when we refresh, we should be able to see this error should go away. Um, Or else, uh, let me get another window, and I think I have to do that. And uh, still, I'm getting the error. So, what it says? Certificate uh, authority relay. So, let me close this and let me get the uh, copy the window and let me go paste. See, now our certificate error has gone. Now our certificate shows as trusted connection is secure. Now its certificate is valid. 
So if you're going to check the certificate, the common name is fine, gpfarlab.com and common name, this uh, this is uh, issued by CSR, the certificate that we created. So then uh, our certificate is fine, so then we we have imported our CA certificate, so that's why the browser is trusting our certificate. Uh, browser is trusting our certificate. So now let me go back to the firewall. And now this is the uh, the global protect portal. Uh, and now we are done with the global protect portal configuration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a user within the firewall. And let me go to uh, the users and let me create the user Mahesh. Uh, I'm creating the user Mahesh and I'm putting the password. Okay, uh, and here we are re entering the password. Okay, now I'm clicking. Okay, and now user is fine. Let me commit, and once commit is completed, so then we can try logging using the user we just created. So let's wait for the commit operation to be completed. So then let's try to log into the portal. So once the portal is done, so I'm going to stop the de demonstration. So then within our use, uh, I'm planning to do a second video for the gateway configuration because then this video is a pretty much shorter one. I think that would be the best way to do this. Okay, now it's almost completed. It's 99.99% uh, completed, so let me close this. I think uh, let me try to log into the portal using the uh, the username that I created, hash, and the password. Uh, we should be able to log in using this. Yeah, see, now we have uh, logged into the Global Protect portal, and we see, you know, uh, download Windows 32, uh, Global Protect Agent, Windows uh, 64 Agent, Mac Agent. Okay, uh, thank you for your time. So I'll, I'll meet you in the uh, gateway config, global protect gateway configuration. Uh, thank you so much for your time.